is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Today, I wanted to show you the, before I go reinstalling it because it's going to be a little tight in there, I wanted to show you the upgrades that I've done to this thing. I talked about my, my one year review of the system, how I was getting ready to do some upgrades, and here they are. And it's a mess, but I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and show you how each of these things work and how actually this is a pretty fairly decent, clean install that's going to give me both the off-grid function and now a grid tie function. So I'm going to be able to save money year-round while also moving more and more and more off the grid. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, it kind of looks like a mess. This piece is the newest piece. This right here is a 1000 watt grid tie inverter. This does not charge batteries. This is not something you can run an appliance off of directly. That is a battery charger and solar charge controller and something you can run equipment or an inverter off of directly. So the difference between these two is this one is for off the grid. This is gonna charge uh, my large lithium ion battery pack and then that is going to be hooked to this Ames power supply and that will allow me to run appliances. I got one GFC uh, you know, outlet here that I can use. This on the other hand hooks in and back feeds into the existing grid that I have here at the house, the actual power that comes in from off the street and can provide up to a thousand watts of backfed power into the system. So running the well, running the microwave, running things like that that aren't currently on my uh, off-grid section, well, that'll take care of that. And the way I did that is kind of interesting. So we have this switch here, and right now I've just got solar charge, right? It has an off, it has a one, it has a two, or it has a both position. So I can charge the battery and run the off-grid stuff while also using any surplus to backfeed the grid. So it's really kind of a best case scenario. If I want to run the AC at the house, I could switch it off, the, take the off-grid out of the solution, and just run the grid tie, 1,000 watts, right? So that's pretty cool. Power goes out, well, switch it over this way, and now I've got it completely running off the grid and off the battery and off the solar. The Ames power pack here takes over and can run up to 3,000 watts of stuff for short periods of time. About 1,000 watts you can run for many hours, but 3,000 watts, which is what this upgrade is going to give us, to run high draw appliances for short bursts. Behind it, there's a lot going on. These wires here, those go to the solar array. These wires here, that one there and that one there, they now split off and they are what are going to feed the grid tie system that I'm gonna be mounting on a separate piece of board here. I'm gonna mount it on the other side because this is just out of space. It's not a very big doghouse if you saw how I built it. Back here, I have a 50 amp breaker. That is going to keep any kind of overload from occurring with the uh, inverter we have over here. And then you have some bus bars that just kind of split the stuff off. That right there is the other new piece of equipment. And that is this. This is a battery monitor. So I haven't really had a way of keeping track of state of charge as well as I would have liked because all I have is a voltmeter hooked up to it now. Which works, by the way. It actually works well. But you got, it's nice to see how many watts are coming in and going out of the battery. So I added this shunt and this, and I'll be mounting it somewhere inside of there to allow me to have a better idea of uh, what kind of power consumption is going on. That cord right there is about 25 foot worth of cord. That hooks to this. And then the lastly, he said these two big fat wires here, that goes to the lithium ion battery, the big battery. So there it is. That's my one year upgrade. It's a significant upgrade. Uh, the wiring is all the same. The solar panels are all the same. The charge controller is the same. That is new. That Ames power supply was big bucks, but I got tired of replacing cheap ones. So rather spend it up front, get a three year warranty and good to go. That was not expensive. It was about the same cost as, as your uh, solar charge controllers are gonna run you. But it allows me to soak every penny out of the system and save every penny I can, which is really what the point of this is it's you know it's moving off grid but in the meantime I want to be able to have this thing pay for itself sooner rather than later and while our power supply or our power bill has gone down about 30 percent since installing this I'll bet it will go down even farther now that we're able to use every last drop 
So I'm going to install this. I'll make a separate final video of the upgrades I'm doing this summer. I'll show you it all hooked up and running. And then maybe next year, year two, I'll do a review. I'm hoping by the end of next year that uh, this will have paid for itself and it'll be time to spend some more money and get us an even bigger system. That's it for now, though, my friends. Take care.